Okay. Um, we've heard reports that Carrie is starting on her new project. Um, are you going to be involved with that project? Of course. That's my little sis. I'll do whatever for her. Yeah, she's getting ready to start. I think she's finishing up touring. Um, I believe she's on tour with uh, Lil Wayne. And uh, I don't know if that's over with or if they're just doing spot dates, spot dates still. But, um, yeah, we, we're really gathering information, get, gathering material. approach do you think you're gonna have on that album like what kind of sound do you want uh for that album we haven't really discussed it yet what okay. kind of sound i know we don't want to we, we want to do something that's that's not the norm you know a lot of things are just so mundane and and uh, kind of like uh, cliche and pretentious to me yeah. um so you kind of like want to sit back in the cut and just let all that kind of blow by yeah. And let the you know let consumers get their feel of it, and then come with something that's new and refreshing, and or you know that's you know and that that transcends from just her being an an R and B crooner, but goes all the way through, you know. So hopefully, you know, my hopefully our approach is going to be you know adding more organic sounds, some more loud sounds as well, you know, and kind of break away from you know things that are kind of like you know synthetic. Because she, she really is a great singer. And given the right material and the right element, I mean, she, she can blow your mind. Yeah. Really blow your mind. So we kind of want to go with more of the organic sound with it this time. Okay. Um, two other projects I know you're currently involved with. Number one is the new Missy, uh, Missy Elliott album. What can you tell me about that album? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's so secretive. Okay. I mean, even when we do tracks for her, she kicks us out the room when she starts recording the vocals. Don't even want us around. Oh. <laughs> Just like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the meeting, and we had a meeting in New York last week with Atlantic and played a lot of tracks that we worked on. Not only ours, but some other producers you also worked with, and they were more than pleased. So now we're just to the point to picking and choosing, you know, which track she wants to, you know, put on the on the LP. So we're kind of like just weed and seeding right now. And once we pick those those tracks, then we start the process of you know programming it, putting it all together, going in and you know touching up things, making everything make sense. Um, and you know if there's some um, tracks that she want to, you know, for, you know, redo vocally. That happens during that process, during the mixing and, and, and the overdub process. So right now she has tons of tracks that, you know, that all have uh, great potentials to be on her, on her next album. Um, this album is very important for her, and we approach it as well, as such. You know, so we want to, you know, we want to make sure we pick the right ones that, that, that would give her her old audience that same feeling as when we, when she started out in the 90s and also introduce her to a new audience because this is a couple of generations later. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, we have a different, you know, different listening audience and she's been involved with some projects 
to let me with other artists that kind of keep, you know, keep her, you know, keep her out there, keep her voice, you know, out there, keep, keep her, keep her face out there. So now she has a totally different listening audience. So we have to approach it as such. So, um, I predict this album is going to be stupid. Trust me. Yeah. This is going to give you all that energy she's been having. She hasn't changed. She's still missing. When you see her, it's like you're looking at her, you know, like, man, miss, you never change. And she doesn't. So she stays youthful. She stays, she stays energetic. She stays creative. And the girl can produce. And if you put her in front of Pro too, she can run that as well. So don't sleep on her. Wow. You know what you're doing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, another project I know you're involved with is the new Shock Value album, Shock Value 3. Um, what can you tell me about that one? Same thing. Tim and, Tim and Missy are just the same people. They're just one of the male, one of the female. Okay. Same thing. <laughs> okay. No, for real. I mean, they are. <laughs> like, you could be totally intimidated when you walk in a room and you really don't know them. I mean, you don't even, like, when they step in the room and they give you that look, like, what are you doing there? You know, you may want to lose it. You know, but... Same thing. We have great music. I mean, we've been working on Shock Value 3 since Shock Value 2. I mean, we never stop working. We never stop tracking. We never be, stop being creative. So, right now, I think he has over 150 tracks that we can use, you know, um, for Shock Value 3 and 4 and 5. You know, we can just keep going on and on. So, same approach. Once, once we're done with Missy, then he's going to go in and start programming his, his album together, putting, picking the right songs, and then that's where we put it together. Wow. But uh, trust me, this is <laughs> shit. Man, well, why? Not for real. Yep. Uh, Listen, we still, we still do our tracks. Okay. And that kind of makes it hard because you, get, you can become confused. If he's so many songs, you be like, no, man, I don't, we don't know what to put on the album. You know, so hopefully we can um, we we'll narrow it down here pretty soon and start just programming the album. Okay. Um, I know you mentioned that it's a little early right now, but um, are there any confirmed guests on that album yet? No, we don't have any confirmed guests yet. Okay. No, not any. I mean, not 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 as of yet. I'm pretty sure you know here maybe like the top of the year he'll start putting the guests on it on the album. Yeah, which it doesn't take long to do. Cause the songs are mostly already good, already done. It's just add, you know, adding artists, like you said, implementing the artists, and we uh, go from there. But it is going to be great, trust me. Okay. An artist that I would love to, you know, see on that album, she was on the uh, Shock Value 2 album, and I know she did a track called Drum Life with yourself and Timbaland back in the day, which is uh, Brandy. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> She was in the car one day, 
And you know, I, you know, everybody wants the best rapper when they're riding in that car. When they got the radio on, can't nobody beat your rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Step outside that car is, is, you know, it's over with. You fall in your face. But she said she started out rapping and, you know, just here and there, one, two, three lines. And she's like, hmm, that was all right. Then, she, you know, another song come on and she, you know, next day she may rap a whole verse. And so she started writing it down. And so what I did is I presented her with a, uh, just a a writing book, just a book that you, you know how people jot down, you know what do you call those? Your your um uh, your journal. Yeah. So I gave her a journal, and I said, what you should do is just, you know, when you just at the crib, you know, vacuuming, whatever you're doing, touching the little girl. When I just go, you know, just write it down in this journal. And three months later, I saw in L.A. And she gave me the journal, and the journal was was completely covered from the front to the back. It's just none but just raps and rhymes and poetry. And so I say like 2008 to 2010, she really was working on being a, uh, a rap artist. And when she came in and started working with us, Shot Value 2, she said she wanted to rap. And Tim was like, yeah, right. <laughs> and he put on the beat, and she killed it. Start, she just started flowing on top of her brain. And so it's, a lot of people don't get a chance to see that side of an artist when they're that versatile. Yeah. You know, so we really want to try to bring that more out of her. You know, she, we got a lot of tracks where she's rapping on him where just, you'd be like, nah, that ain't Brandy. Oh. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, man. Um, that's all that I had for you. Um, is there anything that you'd like to add? No, I just want to tell you thank you for calling me. Thanks for inquiring about me. You know, I'm the type of producer that like to be heard and not seen a lot of times. You know, I'm the guy that can walk in a crowded room and nobody knows what I do. A lot of times, you know, um, I'm profiled and, and they be like, oh, that's a football player. Or, that's a basketball player. Or, or he, what, you know, what does he do? He's security. One time when I walk in, they think I'm security because I'm a big dude. I'm six six. 250, 255, and, you know, I, I, I stay in shape, I, I, I take care of my health, you know, I think that's really important for producers and artists, you know, and the same, because we do work weird hours, we do eat weird times, and we do do some, you know, weird things that could affect our health, so I try to take care of myself, but I'm the guy who's so unassuming, so, you know, I just, you know, like to be heard, and sometimes not seen, but which is, which is great, but it is, you know, it, when it does happen, I really am honored and I show gratitude and I'd like to thank you for, you know, inquiring about me and, and want to do this interview and I hope that I said some things that would help other producers or just, you know, help people, you know, look at me in a different light instead of just the big basketball looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, man. I know a lot of fans are going to be happy to hear, you know, all the stories that you shared, as well as the information on, you know, the upcoming albums. 